Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna look at I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. A uh, pretty nice song and very easy to play on the guitar. Uh, the way he actually plays in the song, it's definitely very easy. And uh, for this song, we are not in the stand string. We're just gonna be stringing the top E string to a low D. So drop D tuning. So I got high E, normal B, normal G, normal D, normal E string. Not to mention B, G, D, A. And this top E gonna be a D string. I mean a D note. So you're gonna tune it backwards, a whole step down, right? And you're gonna get the low D. Sounds nice, often used in most of the songs right now. One of the most easiest tuning out there. So just a uh, easier tuner if you have over here or got this uh, nice tuner. Or you can just get some free apps out there in the App Store Play Store. Make sure you download it. Now, um, this D should match with the, this D string, this D note, this D note. Same note. So when I strum a D major chord, it sounds nice. I don't have to mute any strings. All right. Kipo is on the second fret, you should play like him, so we got the Kipo on fret 2. And now, just to avoid any confusion, I'm gonna be calling the top string as the E. I won't be calling it the D string since I tuned it to a D, I'm gonna be calling it by its original name. So, we have this main finger picking over here which goes for uh, slightly 65% of the song and then we have the chorus strumming, bridge strumming and that's it. Uh, for the whole song, I have to use my fingers, so let me just show you what I'm actually doing with my right hand. I'm using my thumb to hit the E string or the A string. So thumb for the E or the A, index for the D string, my middle finger for the G string, and that's it. Alright, now I'm gonna show you some lines, and you're gonna, pra you're gonna be practicing those lines. Uh, that is actually repeated throughout the whole song. Like we just have four lines, four easy lines, which is actually repeated. And throughout the whole song, there's some small, small change variation out there in the verses, which makes it a little bit different, but uh, it won't make a huge change. But still, I'm gonna be mentioning that difference which we have. So let's have a look at the intro. The first line, we're gonna start like this. So I'm having open D string. I'm hitting that once with the index. So one, and then we have, so it's ta -da, down, ta -da. so one, two, and, so we're gonna be pl uh, plucking the D string twice, a little bit faster, like one, and, two, and, then, so, and you play second, four, and then you come over here to a shape, so we got, and now we have middle finger on G4, and ring finger on 5th fret of the D string I'm gonna plug the top E, the D and the G string top E string then the D string then E string so we got second shape which we have is like this 2nd uh, fret on the G string, 4th fret on the D string I'm going to be hitting the top E string. Since I'm hitting the top E string, you know the importance of that uh, tuning to a D. So you got to tune that to a D since we're using the uh, root note as the E string a lot. So we got... And this shape, I'm going to do the exact same pattern if you have a look at the tab. E, D, G pluck, E string, D string, E string. So we got You're gonna play that shape another time, exact same pattern. Now what I notice in some parts of the song is Jason sometimes just plucks the fourth fret on the D string instead of hitting the G and the B string together. And this happens always for the second time. It's not how every time, but sometimes there's like a variation I told you before. He just plays the D string fourth fret. And it happens for the when you play the shape for the second time, not for the first time. So you got and the next time he actually just plugs like this. He doesn't plug the G string together. No. He plugs. So that's happening sometimes, not always. So keep that in mind. It's pretty clear. So we got
from the beginning I just plucked it uh, together since it's happening but some way I told you before I'm repeating it may happen that he's just plucking the D string so keep that in mind though it's not important but it's good to tell you all the differences uh, now we're gonna play open second four on the D string so this was the first line come back to the line and play the exact same thing And then you won't be repeating that pattern another time on this shape, second on G4 on D. You're gonna be just plucking the E D G string once. So we got sorry. Wait, and then you have you're gonna play that beginning riff uh, which we did. Open, 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 second, fourth on D string. Come back to the same thing and repeat. Same shape, play, play the exact same thing, and then you're gonna play. It's moving backwards now. Four, two, open on the D string, and now it kind of changes. So we play three lines, and the last line it changes. So we actually go to a A sus four chord, third fret on the B string, G string, second fret, and I plug the A, the G, and the B string all together. A G and B is plugged by the index and middle again. An A string open then again B and G string an A string so uh, let me repeat you don't have to plug the B and G string together so first time you plug the B and G string together with the A string A string open then you just plug the G string then A string and repeat that so dang, dang, dang. so plug G A plug A G A just hold the A major chord like a bar on the second fret, uh, keeping the A string open, the high E string meter, strum from the A string. And kind of get a nice sound in the song which he uses with his nail. You get a nice sound with the nail. Like this. I don't have nails right now. So from the beginning, if I play the first line. basically what's happening for the whole song so you just have a look at it practice and I told you there's variation going in the song so if you see this uh, this is gonna be repeated exactly same way for the verse but just some small variation so let me just show you how it starts off so you just finish up with the intro like this and now when you have the verse you're gonna be starting off with this pattern the shape again the shape like that Just plug that once as I told you before. So it's going in the exact same way. But what happens for the verses? You just don't. For the first verse, we got three verses. So for the first verse, it actually doesn't start up in the same way. I, I think we have two verses, not three. So the intro starts off like this, but the verse doesn't start off like that. It just starts off with the main uh, fill. Repeat the thing which you learned before. Da -da. Pluck, two, three, four, then again. So it's the exact same thing which you learn uh, for the intro, but only that first uh, is missing. Otherwise, it's the same thing. And now, uh, let me show you the second verse variation over here. What happens is Uh, we just play the same thing in the same way. The second time you did for the fir uh, first verse was. But not for this second verse. For the second verse, we're going to be repeating this first line which you see twice. So we got. Then again. Ta -da. Same way, you repeat that line 
and we have a third line right now which is and la 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 backwards four two open and then that A major so this was basically the second verse variation and if you want me I can actually play it another time for you uh, just give me a second I don't think uh, we got this one two three four And this was basically for the first, uh, the second verse. The first verse was only changing the second line where we just play, which is not there. So I hope everything is crystal clear. Now we can have a look at the chorus. We have three chorus in the song, and also not to mention we have three verses in the song. I just said it wrong. We have three verses in the song. Uh, I'm, I just forgot. Uh, guys, the first verse was the one which I showed you before. Now, second verse I just showed you right now. If we have a third verse, it's gonna be having the same thing which we did for the second verse. So please forgive me, I just got confused a little bit. But the first verse was. We just stopped over here and then we play. Which we don't have in the second verse. We just repeat the first line twice. Block. So this was the second verse, otherwise everything is the same. Now, uh, the string pan will be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So we have one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. Now, the chorus comes in. The first chorus and the third chorus, which is the last chorus, are the same. The chord progression will start off with a G major chord. Uh, this is not a G major chord, it's a D slash G. I played like this. So D slash G. What I'm doing for this chord, I'm um, like a C major shape. I'm bringing it down over here. So I got index on third fret of B, open G. Then I have fourth fret on D. Then I have uh, my pinky on fifth fret of the A and my ring finger on the E string, fifth fret. This is a D slash G. So five, five, four, open three, and the high E string is muted. The D major chord is simple. Open, open, open. Second, third, second. B minor 11, mute on the E string, 2nd fret on A, open D, 2nd fret on G string, 3rd fret on B string, open high E string. And the A sus4 chord is the one which you learned before for the finger picking riff. It was mute, open, 2nd, 2nd, 3rd, open. Now, the down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up will be repeated once on each chord, which means down. Alright, that was string band, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And now let's start with chorus 1. I'm gonna be showing you the three chorus right now because they are likely same. Just one small difference for the chorus 2nd. Otherwise the chorus 1 and chorus 3 is exactly same. So the first chorus is D slash G. I'm playing a C major chord shape like all the way 2 frets up. So 3 on the B. Open G. High E string is actually muted. Keep that in mind. D string 4th fret. Your pinky on 5th fret of A and your ring finger on E string. Fret. So 5 5 4 open 3 D slash G then we have a D major normal D mute mute open mute mute, mute. Oh, I'm sorry very sorry open 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 since we are in a different tuning we're gonna be letting the top E string ring so open 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 second third second B minor 11 mute 2 open second third second third open not second so mute 2 open second third open A major mute open second 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 open A sus 4 mute open second second third open and that's pretty much all the chords which we have. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Repeat it once on each chord, excluding this last chord for the chord progression. So we're gonna play D slash G, then a D, then a B minor 11, then an A major, then back to D slash G, then a D, A sus 4, and for the last A major chord, we're gonna do one dance stroke and let that ring. Uh, so let me just show you, like, I mean, we're gonna go for down, down, up, down, up. But instead of repeating the string pattern twice, we're gonna just let that another, we're gonna end that with another down, which means 
like this. For other calls, we are going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. But for the last A, it's an exception. So we got. Right? Let me play the chorus. One. Actually, I'm recording this video uh, like for the second time. Um, this part, which just got cropped right now, cause since my iPhone showed like my storage is full, I forgot to do all the previous videos, so I had to start this to make another jam. So I'm making this course, course part for another jam. So we got. Uh, Saw that last image you got down down up down 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 up down up down that's it chorus second will be exactly same but we're gonna be adding the d slash g after the a major chord twice so if i play it it's gonna sound like this down down up down up down down up down up, down down up, down down same thing d slash g down up down up down down up down d major that's four. A major, down, 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 back to D slash D. There's the chorus two, and the chorus three is exactly same like the chorus one. You don't have to play the D slash G, uh, D slash G at the end. And now the last part, which is left, is basically the bridge. So we got the structure song and starting off with the verse. I'm um, sorry, the intro. Then we have the verse. Uh, then the intro. I'm sorry, very sorry. Intro, verse, then chorus, then verse, then chorus, then verse, then chorus, then bridge. So let me show you the bridge of the song. It gets a little bit different over here. Uh, we have an E minor chord. So we got second fret on top E, second fret on A, second fret on D, open G, open B, open high E. This is the E minor. Since we are in different tuning, the e, ma e minor is just a little bit different. Uh, then we have a new chord, which is a C major. Move three to open first open. And we also have an A slash C sharp. I bring my ring finger on fourth fret of E string, top E string meter, high E string meter, second fret on DGB with the index finger bar. The chord progression, we're gonna be having four lines, E minor, E minor, A, A. So on the E minor chord, the string pan, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, will be repeated once, so it's twice, which means all put together gonna be twice, the string pattern, then A major, same thing. And again C major, uh, so you're gonna be repeating the first line set two times. So we got four lines, we had E minor, E minor, A, A. Again, E minor, E minor, A, A. Now the third line we have C, sorry. Again a C, then a, a slash C sharp. Again a, a slash C sharp, then back to C. And then A slash C sharp, and we're gonna be using that A major style. Down, down, up, down. Only for this A C sharp at the end. Down, down, up, down, up, down. You don't have to do down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up for this A, C sharp only. And then we have a D and D. So just see this part. This is the last part. Pretty easy, pretty damn easy. Just pay attention, see how I'm playing. One, two, three, four. Guys, uh, that's it for today. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know what other song you just want to learn. If you haven't subscribed, you should do so. And also drop me one of these uh, so that you can promote my videos to other people. That's it, pretty much everything. Bye.